if you're like me, getting a loan is scary because that means we owe people. And if we can't pay them back, they're going to come take our car or take our house. But did you know that in the Bitcoin world, we can also get loans by using our coins as collateral? And there are some very unique reasons why someone might want to do so. Like maybe your old school bank doesn't view your crypto backs as legitimate collateral, or maybe you don't want to sell your Bitcoin and trigger a taxable event, or maybe you want some extra cash for margin trading purposes. These are just some of the many reasons why people have been getting Bitcoin loans these days. I mean, this is why services like BlockFi were created in the first place. So this video is for two types of people. First, if you're just curious about what these are and how they work. Second, if you're actively considering getting one of these loans. Either way, this video is for you because I'm going to explain it all from top to bottom and also share with you the details about how BlockFi's loan product works. So if that sounds useful for you, then you're in the right place. Strap in, my friend, because it's time for the deep dive. Welcome back to BFB. I'm your host, Kevin. And in this channel, we're all about that deep research and honest opinions to help you get that long-term edge in the crypto space. Just a quick heads up, we are a partner of BlockFi's and they do sponsor us on a recurring basis. If you want to use their loan product, you can sign up with my link below to get a 250 Bitcoin bonus and I'd get a commission too. All right, so let's zoom out. First, let's get on the same page in terms of what loans are in the traditional finance world and how they work. Because I have a feeling that not many of us are in the business of getting a ton of loans. You can kind of bucket loans into two categories. First are your loans based on your income stream. This can be like mortgages for your house or just personal loans. They can be with or without collateral. And generally speaking, if you earn more, you can borrow more. Usually these come with a long approval process. You got to fill out forms, they check your credit history and on and on. And usually you pay periodically on the principal or that's a fancy way of saying the amounts you borrowed and any interest that has accrued. You got to pay interest because they aren't just in the business of lending you money for free, right? There's got to be something in it for them too. For these types of loans, you can usually offer collateral equal to or less than the value of the loan. Those would be your under collateralized loans. The last characteristic is that they could be for a long period of time, like multi-year loans. The second type of loan are your pawn shop loans. These are purely based on collateral. No income requirement, no application process, no credit checks. You bring in collateral and boom, they give you cash in return. Usually these are over collateralized to protect the lender. If you miss payments, they can sell the collateral so that they don't lose money. Once you pay off the loan plus interest, you can get your item back. These are much more shorter term than our first type of loan. I'm talking in the span of a few weeks or a couple months. Okay, enough about the regular loans. You're here to hear about the Bitcoin loans, right? How do these work? How are they different or similar? Well, Bitcoin loans are much like those pawn shop loans. You don't need a credit or income check to get these. That's why they are over collateralized, which means you get less cash than the full dollar value of the Bitcoin that you send in. This is to make sure that the lender doesn't lose money while you, the borrower, also doesn't get liquidated too quickly as well. You send in Bitcoin to an escrow service that holds your coin in the meantime and you can get up to 50% of the cash value of your coins as a loan. As long as you make the required payments and Bitcoin doesn't fall below the liquidation price, you can eventually pay everything off and withdraw your Bitcoin once again. All right, so what are the top reasons why you might want to get these Bitcoin loans? I'm going to list out several situations for you to paint a better picture. First, let's say the bull market has been amazing for you and you've made a lot of juicy profits. Maybe you want to take a nice vacation or buy that green Lambo green for all those green candlesticks, but you don't want to sell and miss out on the future upside. So you can borrow cash by collateralizing your Bitcoin and pay back the loan later. Second is that those old dinosaur banks hate crypto and they don't view our bags as legit collateral for regular loans. Bitcoin backed loans are a great alternative for, let's say, if you wanted to get a mortgage for a new house. Third, you can avoid taxes on capital gains by taking out a loan instead of selling your Bitcoin for dollars. You probably should do some calculations first to make sure whatever tax benefits you get outweigh the interest payments that you have to make. Fourth, you can use these loans to margin trade in the most basic sense. Margin trading is just buying more coins than the initial deposit that you have. So you send in some Bitcoin, get a loan, and turn around and use that loan to buy even more Bitcoin. That's a form of margin trading. Why would you want to do that? Well, if it's a raging bull market and prices keep on increasing, 
you can pay back the dollar value of the loan and keep any additional Bitcoin as profits. Fifth, you can pay off high interest debt with these loans like credit card debt or student loan debt. If they have a much higher interest rate than Bitcoin loans, then this could make sense. These are just some of the reasons why people have gotten Bitcoin backed loans in the past. And I hope they paint a better picture for you in terms of what's possible and why you might want to use them in the future. But it's not all rainbows and roses. There are some risks you got to know about too. First, it's just platform risk. If a black swan event happens, like a hack or a bank run, then you may lose the Bitcoin that you deposited for the loan. Second, it's just times of extreme volatility, which affects Bitcoin probably more than any other asset we've seen on the markets. You might get a margin call, which means you have to add more collateral or pay off part of the loan. If you're not able to do so, they could sell your Bitcoin and you wouldn't be able to get it back. Now, if you borrow a lesser percentage of your Bitcoin's value, then your margin call price is lower, which means you have more leeway. Now, there's a lot of different services out there for Bitcoin backed loans, but in this video, I want to focus on BlockFi because they are the preeminent offering in my opinion, and also the one that most of my friends personally use and recommend. On a super high level, if your loan is approved and accepted, then you deposit Bitcoin or some other crypto onto their platform and they issue you your loan afterwards. It's an interest only loan, which means you just pay the interest monthly and then you pay back the principal, which is the amount you borrowed at the end of the term. You can also repay earlier at any time without fines. And most of the time you can roll over the loan at the end of the contract. Once everything is paid off, your crypto is once again available for you to withdraw. That's the basics, but let's dig in a little more. If you're really considering using BlockFi to get one of these loans, here's how the whole process works. First, you go through an identity verification check and a credit risk assessment. This gets a little bit fancy, but they do a general check without actually pulling your credit score. After review, you could get a loan offer in as short as two hours. Your loan offer consists of the interest percentage, monthly payment terms, and margin call details. This all depends on the amount you want to borrow, which needs to be at least $10,000, the percentage of your coin's value that you want to borrow, like do you want 25, 35, or 50%, and also the origination fee, which is somewhere between 1 to 2%. If and when you accept the offer, you send crypto to BlockFi's custodian, which is Gemini, and you get money wired pretty quickly into your bank account, or they could send you GUSD stablecoin if you prefer. One super important thing to manage properly is margin calls when Bitcoin is on a wild roller coaster ride. BlockFi's first margin call level is at 70% loan to value. This means that the dollar amount of your loan is now worth 70% of the Bitcoin you deposited because the price of Bitcoin dropped. At that point, you have 72 hours to post additional Bitcoin to bring the LTV ratio back to a safe range, or you can pay down some of your loan to fix this problem. If your LTV becomes 80%, BlockFi will sell part of your Bitcoin to lower the LTV back to the safe range. These thresholds could change over time, so I encourage you to do your research before you get your first loan. Alright, so that's it. I hope this video gave you a better sense of how Bitcoin loans work and why you might want to get one. Like I said, I know several friends who have gotten these loans before from BlockFi and they have no complaints whatsoever. Before I did my research into these, I was scared. And I didn't think I'd ever need to or want to get one of these. But now it's much more clear for me that these have unique benefits for us Bitcoin investors. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below or if you have any experience with these that you can share with us, please let us know. Like I mentioned earlier, please use my BlockFi partner link to support our channel if you're thinking about signing up to get one of these loans. I'm Kevin from BFB. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Cheers.